In today's video, we're beginning our quest to pull every card in Rarity Collection. This is the binder we're gonna put them in. What's up guys, we are back with another Rarity Collection opening. Today, I'm officially starting, but we're gonna finish on Saturday. We have two boxes to open up today. We have much, much more to open up Saturday because it's gonna take a ton of opening packs. It's gonna be worth it because every time we pull something, we're gonna add it to the binder. So we're probably gonna have to like open a few packs and then add it because like if we do it every pack, it'll take forever. But so I did happen to have two of these four row binders, which is good because we have seven of each rarity. I wanna put them all next to each other. It's gonna be pretty messy, but it's also gonna be super fun because this is a 500 plus card set when it comes to unique cards. But before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away another box of 25th anniversary rarity collection. This came from my locals. So if you get something crazy, go ahead and pat them on the back. Frontline Games, thank you guys so much for always being there for the early releases and stuff like that on Wednesdays and stuff. So I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and start opening this. This is our first time starting to add to the binder. By the way, tomorrow I'm gonna be opening up a couple of cases for Frontline. That will not be included in our binder because those are not my cards. I'm just opening them from my local store. And uh, I figured you guys want to see more Rarity Collection, right? I got a couple cases to open up for you guys. It's going to be a long video tomorrow. So prepare your popcorn. Go ahead and go to Walmart tonight because you're going to need it tomorrow. I want to see what we get from one box. So I'm going to do one box at a time here to see kind of what the ratios end up being for one box. I don't think we even need to mix this stuff up because it's absolutely ridiculous. Don't really need a pack trick. Don't need to mix anything up. I know a lot of you guys are going to love that. Yes, no pack trick. Thank goodness. All right, here we go. Let's start with box one and see what we can add to the binder. All right, we'll do one pack and then I'll add, a, uh, we'll probably wait a few till we start adding cards to the binder. Maybe we'll open like four or six and then I can show you guys what it looks like. We're starting it off with a Baron. It's already an amazing start. Super rare Baron, two supers per pack in this. Danger Jack, wait, is it two supers per pack? It might not be, it might be more than two if you don't get anything crazy here. Danger Jackalope, we got an effect Baylor right off the bat, ultimate rare. Okay, we're starting off nice. We've got our little EN dash, or dash EN 003. Frontline was really suggesting to Konami, hey, you need to put some sort of set code so we can tell the difference if it's an ulti collector. Like they can tell, but they know it's just a lot cleaner if you have an idea there. You don't have to like differentiate every single one. Striker Dragon started off with back-to-back -back ultis again, just like yesterday. And then we got another super. So there we got two ultis and a secret right off the bat in one pack. That's absolutely ridiculous. And if you're watching this and you're like, how in the world do you tell the difference between these cards? Guess what? I made a little short that can tell the difference between all the rarities. So go check that out, YouTube Shorts on my channel. Okay, let's see what else we can get. A 25th anniversary, Elder Entity Entis. Beautiful, that is amazing. We got a Striker Dragon, so we have an ulti and an ultra of that. An Artemis Ultra, and then a Time Thief Redoer. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, we got a lot of additions already to the binder. I'm gonna have to sleeve up a lot of cards in this. We have Lone Fire Blossom. We got Called by the Grave Secret Rare, Summon Limit. No Platinum Rare yet. We have a Reasoning for Goat Format. Pretty awesome. That'd be kind of a funny one to have. That's a funny one to have seven rarities of. Lone Fire Blossom also pretty nice for Edison. I'm just thinking about how long this is going to take on the live stream. Like every time we're adding cards. Early on, it'll take a while, but eventually we're going to start... You know, we're gonna have a lot more cards and there'll be less adding as we go. <gasps> Egyptian God Slime, let's go. I get to keep all these cards too. This is exciting. These are my cards. Egyptian God Slime, that is a pretty awesome 25th anniversary. Ancient Fairy, Pot of Extravagance. We're getting a lot of great pulls right now. And then Dingirsu. 80 unique cards, I believe. I still think it's 80. Is it 80 or 79? I really don't know. We eventually will find card number 80 and that'll help. I haven't seen Max D, so I think he got cut from the OCG list, unfortunately. Nightmare Unicorn, we got Infinite Impermanence. That Ultimate Rare Max D will continue to be $800. Iris Sword Soul, Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax, and an Inspector Border. That was kind of a boring one. Just, you know, like a few Ultras. Just a sec, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start the little binder action. We have a Striker Dragon, Harpy's Featherstorm Secret. We got a Pot of Desires. Vision Hero Ferris and a win the win channeler. Let's see what else. Tri Brigade Revolt. We got Downer Magician. Cyber Angel Benton. Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon. Haven't seen anything above an Ultra or Super for that yet, but eventually we will. There's so many variants. 500 different cards. I mean, that is way more than we're used to. It's usually like 150 at the most. Code Talker, Pot of Prosp. That's pretty awesome. Change of Heart. Vision Hero Ferris Super. We have a Artemis. I think the way to do this, Change of Heart, will be to, oh, Collector Rare. First Collector Rare of the video, a little bit of those dots all over the surface. You can see that, that's Collector Rare. Sign, we have the Harpy's Feather Storm and Harpy's Feather Storm. If I do the supers first and go throughout the binder and kind of do that, I'll be able to follow a lot easier. Okay, here's where this card goes. It'll be kind of the signifier 
and I just do the, and there's, I have most of the supers, you know, already. We have to change our, not most, but a lot of them. A okay, Ghost Trick Angel. We have Elder Entity into, oh, that was an ulti. I didn't notice that. Oh, wait, was that an ulti? Yeah, ulti. See, that's, those are pretty tough to tell. You got to look at the borders or the little dots. I didn't see any, but they can miss those. So the border, I think, is the easiest way to tell that apart from the collector rare. Pretty cool. No Ash Blossom yet. That's the big card that we're really looking for. Change of heart. We got Elder Entity Intus. Dogmatica Ecclesi the Virtuous. Mud Dragon of the Swamp and Dogmatica Punishment. Let me know in the comments, how excited are you for this new set? And are you pumped about pulling every card? We have never done this before, but I figured this is the perfect set to do it with. Is that our first Platinum Rare? There we go. Red Eyes Flare Metter. Metter? Metal? Magician Salvation. Blue Eyes Abyss. I do want this. I cannot wait to pull all seven versions of that. The question is, what am I going to do? I thought, what do I do with the whole set? I could either keep the set, I could sell it as one. I mean, you're not going to see that anywhere else. So you could buy the entire Rarity Collection set. Uh, if there's potential interest in that, then maybe I would consider just, you know, selling the entire collection that we get. That'd be kind of cool. Or I could hang on to them. Uh, but the problem is I did have to pay a lot of money to get these. So selling them is more ideal for my actual finances, <laughs> but it would be pretty cool to have the whole set. But I feel like it would be a pretty unique thing for Ben Drop with Vladimir. Fossil Dig, oh, Fossil Dig and Seven Prince. That's awesome. Dark Ruler No More and the Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. It would be a pretty unique thing to be able to sell all the cards at once, you know, buy, you, you have a 500 plus card set and you can just buy all of them, it'd be pretty sick. I'm having so much fun with this set already. I can't wait for Saturday. Normally on these, these long streams, I'm kind of like, man, these are gonna be really long. I don't know if I'm ready for this, but this I'm really pumped. Like it's gonna be a fun stream because we've never done this. Celine uh, Collector Rare and then a Celine Super. This one I'm actually really, really excited to get all the cards and try to hunt for them. I think we're gonna be able to do it. There is some variance involved. Oh, a Rhoda 25th. Might have to replace my Collector Rare and my Edison deck with something. Uh, I did do my rankings of my favorite cards or favorite rarities in the set, and I won't spoil it, but it is also gonna be short as well, but it was in yesterday's video. Uh, you can see what my favorite rarity is, and I'll spoil a little bit. That 25th is not my number one. We have a Flare Metal, we have Spell Book of Judgments in here. Okay, Fallout of Albaz, more Prince of Fallout of Albaz. Pot of Prosperity, always good to get those. I bet that one will hold up over a dollar. That's gonna be solid because it's just, I mean, it's Pot of Prosperity, right? It's gonna be a great card, Danger Jackalope. It's good because I actually don't have any Prosperities because I sold them, they were too expensive to hang on to. Effect Veiler, Rhoda, Herald of the Arclight, that is an ultra, ultimate rare, not ultra. Effect Veiler, Dimension Shifter, we have Striker Dragon, Borlode Savage is in it. There's so many good cards. Wing Dragon Ross Sphere Mode and the Magician's Salvation. Good stuff, good stuff. So is the minimum an ultra in these middle slots? I'm trying to figure out. We have Reasoning, that's cool. Fairy Tale Luna. It seems like it is. Infinite Impermanence, evenly matched. I, I'm not getting any supers in those slots. And Deco Talker. So ultras are going to be fairly common in here as well. So if you want the ultra of something, it probably won't be crazy expensive. We've got God Slime, Degirsu. It's a small world after all, Chaos Space and Artifact Lancia. Three packs left in box number one, Ash Blossom. Still, we have not pulled a high rarity Ash Blossom. I don't know if there's any short prints or not. Uh, you never know with Konami, that's a collector rare right there. You can tell by the little sparkles. Wing Dragon and Ross Sphere Mode, Ancient Fairy Dragon Super. Man, so many good cards. The stack of good cards is like way taller than the supers. Rhoda, we got the Platinum Rare. We're getting all kinds of Rhodas in this. Called by the Grave, Pot of Extravagance. Is that a collector rare as well? It is Ice Dragon's Prison. We are crushing this box right now. This is a really good box. Rarity collection, man. We are gonna have some blinged out decks, everybody. It's gonna be nice. We have Win the Wind Channeler, Artifact Lancia, Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion, and Iris Sword Soul. Okay. Okay, that first box had four ultis, four collector rares, three 25th, and three platinum rares. I could have missed a platinum rare going through them, but because they are a little bit more subtle. But it seems like you're getting a ton of high rarity stuff. So like at the beginning, it's pretty amazing. Alpha, Magnite, just one box. So if you guys do like this set, don't forget, I do have a discount code with Sassiato. Go check them out. Link in the description. 5% off if you want to buy some of the set. It's a hot set. So it's going to be going pretty quick, I think. Reasoning. Uh, I mean, it's just you can't really top this set. And when it comes to opening, it's so much fun. You get a lot of really cool cards. We'll see how the value holds up, but it feels like you're getting a lot of value. There's a Platinum Rare. L Lich, we got a Code Talker Inverted and an Effect Veiler. Getting a lot of Effect Veilers, it feels like, which is going to be interesting for the Effect Veiler market. We're getting tons of them. Tribrigade Revolt, we have Egyptian God Slime, Secret, Other Entity Intus, Ga Galaxy Eyes Aftergrow, Ga Galaxy, Ga -ga -ga Galaxy, and another Dingirsu. Insane. This set is crazy. It's, it, it, it's literally insane. Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon, highest rarity we've pulled of that. Is that card damaged? 
What is that? No, I just, okay, there's a little fuzzball stuck to it. Okay, secret, I do really wanna pull, really wanna pull the high rarities of that card because blue eyes, white dragon. We, we got one blue eyes card in here. It's like the most collectible card probably. It's most of the cards in here are not really, Egyptian God Slime is probably up there as well. It's more of a, you know, it's got some collectability. Junk Speeder, that's pretty cool. Ultimate Rare, Summon Limit, awesome stuff. I'm gonna be like sorting like crazy. When, oh, I guess I'm gonna be putting them in the binder anyway, so I'm definitely gonna have to. Danger Jackalope, 25th anniversary. Very nice, very shiny, beautiful. A Dear Servant Collector Rare in the same pack. Wow, there are gonna be some banger packs in this. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Wow, wow, wow. This is gonna be quite crazy. What a, what a set. They have done well, I think. The Iris Sword Soul, Selene, Time Thief Redoer. The only thing is I, they need to be careful not to overdo this kind of set because I already mentioned it yesterday. They can't do this. I saw someone comment on Twitter. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't know who it was at all. I, they were responding to somebody I followed, I think. Master Doc was saying they wanted this two times a year. And I was like, that, that just would not work. It wouldn't work. It, everything would be worth nothing at that point. I think it needs to be, I mean, once a year almost feels like too much for this kind of set. It needs to like, you need to build up a lot of cards that need reprints because you'll basically never, not that you'll never need a reprint, but you will need a reprint for a very, very long time after this set comes out. So all the cards in here are not gonna need a reprint for a while, in my opinion, small world, because you're always gonna be able to get these supers. Eventually there will be a time where people can't get a hold of this set anymore or like they've moved all their inventory, but the supers, there's gonna be a lot of supers for every card in this set. And that's gonna make it really accessible. So there's a platinum rare. It's gonna be a, quite a while before you ever need another Herald of the Arc Light. Like that is gonna be a card. Pot of Prosperity, same thing. This is so playable that it might be a little bit faster for this one but some of these other cards like numeron dragon used to be expensive it got one reprint and then it was worth nothing now it's going to be worth nothing for years so if we do this twice a year like all the cards every time i mean we're going to run out of reprints we won't need any other reprint sets this could be the only reprint set essentially we have tour guy from the underworld deco talker there will be some times where there's like some cards pop up and they're really popular in the meta, so you need in so like such high demand that you still can get some value out of them. But you do have to be careful. Printing like seven versions of something can only happen so often. So I think that if I was to recommend, I would say they would do this now, wait a couple years before you do it again. And then like not only will it help let the market kind of saturate or set be saturated with this for a while and not like oversaturate pot of prosperity we got Preda plant but it will also uh build hype you know because we'll be so excited about this set because it's, it's a great set no matter what i'm saying right now it's an awesome set super fun really fun to open really good value for what you buy you feel like you're getting a lot back which is always a good thing so people are like when's the next one i can't wait and it's better to like have people like anticipating and waiting than to just shove it down their throat a million times dimensional barrier 25th i'm sure people will be excited to play against that one herald of the arc light vision hero ferris and a unicorn so i think it'd be even better if people are like oh man it's been so long since the last you know rarity collection and then in 2026 we get one and we're like oh yes it was so great last time you know and i think that they should consider pacing it like that because i think that could i think that could be pretty epic and i think it will work out a lot better in general just for the market because like you got to consider that when you are printing this many reprints uh but i'm excited i'm excited for this i mean no matter i have talked about the negative a, a lot i mean obviously that's the thing that i mean everyone's going to be excited about this set so i figured i should bring the negative you know at least viewpoint to consider and it's not really for buyers of the cards like if you're buying a box of this who cares you're not really, really worried about it it's really for like people like konami it's like the actual company to consider so that we don't end up with a crazy that was a wow that was a collector rare and an ulti ulti pack that's pretty amazing that's one of the best things about this set you can pull multiple high rarities i love it but it's just something to consider for konami that i i know i mean th there's been a lot going on with the printing sets like crazy we've already talked about it in another video and this is another version of that, except this one is so dense with multiple high rarity cards. It's like, this is like a supercharged set to the market. It's like they took seven sets and put it in one kind of. So it almost counts as multiple. Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon Secret. We still can't get anything higher than that. But we're gonna do our best, uh, Fallen of our best. But yeah, as I was saying, don't don't just take this and be like, ah, oh, Rux and he hates this set. I don't, I don't hate the set. I love the set. I just think you have to be really careful with a set like this. Something this good 
you can't just have something all, you can't eat donuts for every meal you know you can't do it i mean you can it's not going to work out so well another ulti collector rare set i mean i mean this is like taking your cake and you're eating cake every single day because you love cake and it's awesome and cake is awesome objectively but there are drawbacks you can't just have cake every day because if you do you, i mean eventually it's gonna come back and bite you and that's what'll happen if we have too many of these sets so i just want to throw that out there Baron the floor. I think we've talked a little enough about that in this video. Magician Salvation. Oh, let's just get this out of the way. So on Saturday, I can just be like, let's go. I, I'm probably gonna be talking more about this in the case, but on Saturday, I just want to be pumped about collecting the set because I'm I haven't ha been excited to collect a Yu-Gi-Oh set like since LOB, the very first time I got into a 25th anniversary. Falling about that's beautiful. Luna and a triple tactics talent. Still haven't seen the high rarities of those. Uh, but yeah, this is a very collectible set. That's what I do like about it. I think, uh, let me just throw this out there. We'll maybe talk about this a little bit on tomorrow's video as well. This kind of set is ideal for collectors too. Imagine you just get a set like this. You do all collector cards, maybe a few meta cards, just so the meta people are interested. Maybe like 10 meta cards. They'll still be into it. And you just throw in some blue eyes cards, some dark magician cards. Maybe just do some old school, like random archetypes that are collectible and people really like, but they aren't that good. You know, uh, there could be some really fun stuff with that. There's some potential there called by the grave chaos space. I'm mean, that's all I'll say for this video, but rarity collection 2.0, just to like avoid oversaturating like the playable cards could be a collector's edition. All right, let's cut to the binder where we are showing our final product of what we have right now. And these are what we have going into Saturday where we have to complete all seven rarities of every card. All right, quick run through of the binder. I know we don't have the best audio right now on my mic. This is the setup we're doing. So we have one, two, three, seven across. So it'll be super, ultra, secret, platinum secret, collector rare, We've got the ultimate rare and then the 25th anniversary. I had to do two different binders because there's so many cards and you, if it takes up two whole pages, it takes a while. So that's what we're gonna do. It took me forever to put these all in here. So the stream's gonna be long Saturday for sure, but I'm excited. Shout out to Tomefo Show, Daxer, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dien, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Liu, Gwine 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Bardic, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.